What are the simplest things I can do to be happy? Well, here's my first question. Do you have an hour? Can you give me an hour? No, this YouTube video is not gonna be an hour long. I'm just gonna give you three things that each take 20 minutes. If you can do them for an hour, I guarantee that an hour from now, you are gonna feel in a better mood. All the three things are simple, they are easy, and they will get this done. Number one, get outside and go on a brisk 20 minute nature walk, okay? A research report from Michael Babiuk and team published in the Journal of Psychosomatic Medicine showed that brisk nature walks actually outperform antidepressants and more interestingly, the combination of antidepressants and nature walks. I'm saying just the walking alone outperforms the other two. So first thing you gotta do is put on your running shoes, go outside, find a forest, find some trees, and just walk around, okay? Preferably with no lawnmower in the background for yourself. Number two, when you get home, that's 20 minutes. You got 20 more minutes. I want you to do the 20 minute replay. This means you get out a pen or a pencil, you get out some paper, and you journal for 20 minutes about one highlight of your day, earlier this day or from yesterday. You say, hey, it was so great. I was out in the park. The lawnmower drove far away. The sound went down. Whatever you want, just write it down because you know what happens? Your mind has something called the visual cortex in it. There's an area in it called area 17. When the lawnmower drives away, that area lights up. When I write about the lawnmower driving away, that area lights up again. When I read my own journal about the lawnmower driving away, that area lights up a third time. That's why I call it the 20 minute replay because you are replaying to yourself the highlights of your day. By the way, research on journaling was done by Slasher and Pennebaker down at the University of Texas and they found that couples in a relationship were 50% more likely to stay together in their relationship if they simply journaled for two weeks, okay? Number three, now you're 40 minutes deep with me now. You got 20 minutes left. Here's my final piece of homework for you. Read 20 pages of fiction. Read 20 pages of fiction. According to a 2011 report in the Annual Review of Psychology, reading fiction fires your mirror neurons. Yeah, I'm using neuroscience to answer all this stuff for you guys today because you know what, you gotta use the latest research in order to prove this to your left brain self, okay? You don't think that reading 20 pages of fiction, you think, I don't got time for that. I don't got time to let's read, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom. Yes, you do. You need time. You need to make the time because it will make you feel better. When you're lying in bed with Margaret talking to God, you feel like you're there. Those mirror neurons fire. If you're reading The Boys in the Boat, you're a boy in the boat. If you're reading Hamilton, you feel like Hamilton. So we know from the research that empathy, compassion, sympathy, and understanding in yourself all increases. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. A man who never reads lives only one. 20 pages of fiction takes you into another life and it absolves you a little bit and it like makes you worry less about your own problems. To summarize, go on a brisk 20 minute nature walk, do a 20 minute replay of journaling about something awesome in your day, and finally read 20 pages of fiction. If you can do those three things, taking one hour, come talk to me, leave me a comment at the end, tell me how you feel. I guarantee you, you will feel better and you will feel happier.